So this is the third video for the Outlook 2010 series and most probably the last one in the first two videos we've covered things set up, uh, contacts, ca and we also did the email, new emails and in this video I want to talk about calendars, task notes. So let's get going to the calendar section. So when I click on the calendar on the left hand side I come to this view where I can choose to view it by work week or by month. I prefer the month view so I can see everything in a snapshot. And here you can create appointments. You can also check when you create appointments um, and uh, you can also assign and invite other people to those appointments and you can see whether they are free in the work setting. So let's start looking at it. So say if I wanted to put an appointment for Monday, I can just double click on it and it will open the event section. You can also click on the new appointment button which will bring you to the same button and if you want it you could just click on this new meeting option where you can invite others. So you can click it now you can start adding people's name. However even when you just go to new appointment you can add att invite attendees and you'll get the TO button and you can always cancel invitations. Now I'm just going to close this. So the first, I'll just do like a basic one. Uh, say I wanted to put someone's birthday for 25th March. So I can double click on it and I can say Joe birthday location whatever and I can put a note here. Now here um, this is the show where I want to show it as free or something like that because in this case I it doesn't impact my work so I just leave it as free but if I thought that on this day I was going to be busy say because of this from 12 till 2 I'm going to be out of office I can choose as out of office so that it will show on my calendar because in a work environment your calendars can be seen by other people. Okay? So that is a option that I can set to. And if I want it, I can even set this point this item as private so that it's not publicly viewable because other people in the company don't need to know about this particular calendar event. So you can do that. Now because this is a birthday, I can set a recurrence and I can say repeat this every year and you can if this was like a meeting and you wanted to have it weekly you can do that too we'll look at that also so I'll click on yearly and I can choose does it have an end date well in this case there is no end date but you can choose to end it at a certain time and I click OK and I click save and close and that appointment is added uh, let's see month view figured out why I don't see that Joe's birthday on the 25th because I have made my font size bigger so that you can see things easily. I'm just going to go to the corner and I'm going to expand, maximize my window and there it is. You see I can see all the holidays and also the birthday there and this will be repeated. So now I'll do another one where say I wanted to create a meeting that will happen every Tuesday for the next few weeks so I can double click on it or I can even go to new meeting directly because I want to invite other people and here I can say I'll just send it to myself location conference room one sometimes in some organization you'll be actually able to see whether the conference room is free or not and then I can choose what time this meeting is from and then notes you goes here and if I want to do recurrence I can do the recurrence and I can say repeat it every week on a Tuesday and repeat it say five times so you can choose that and I can click OK and now if I had added other people different types of other people in the company to be part of this meeting I can even click on 
the option called scheduling. Now here I'll be able to see the people's calendars and see whether they are free for that time period. And based on that I can figure out whether I should book that appointment. So you see like for the Monday I said from 12 to 2 I'm out of office so this information will be visible to other people and they can figure out whether you should assign a time period where people will be what time everybody should come for the meeting. So if I had more than one people I can check and see whether on Monday at this time if there is other people are free or not and I can make the changes or if not then I can just send it and they can decide what to do with it. So up here I'll just come back to the I can even set this for what am I in that at this time I'm going to be free busy when this appointment happens I can say I'm going to be busy and I can come back to the appointment window after I've checked the scheduling and you can always cancel the invitation I can also set a reminder for myself I can say give me a reminder 30 minutes before you can set that and now I have to hit send because this is an actual invitation so it's not just saving it to my calendar I'll be able to send it to that person and they will receive this email and as soon as they accept that invitation it will add this appointment to their calendar automatically so they don't have to do it so if I hit send and it's saying do you want to send it without the subject alright so I'll just put the subject meeting and I'll hit send now I'll hit send and receive now I'll hit send and receive so now you see I hear the voice and there is the meeting so I go back to my mail there is the meeting and then let's double click on it and there is the meeting and I can respond to it if I wanted to and I can close this okay, I'll come back to calendar I'll do a new meeting again now here I can even set a response and say request request response whether you want it or not do you want them to allow a new time proposal so you can set things up very easy to do that you can insert attachments files and you can also do spell checks close it now to see my appointments for Tuesday so there is the one two three four and the fifth so all five have been repeated for me I don't have to do anything okay. so that's calendar let's look at uh, task so I click on the task option I'm just gonna make my window small again so it fits nicely and you can see on the right hand side there is my calendar meetings sitting there and you'll also see this when we go back to the main screen which I'll show it in a minute so tasks are where you can set up you know buying milk or you know tell somebody or you need to call somebody so you can click on new task and you can say call Joe at 2 you know what is the start date uh, Monday end date uh, is it the priority high do you want a reminder? I'll say, yeah, let's do a reminder for this at 11.30. And I can leave a telephone number here just to make sure I don't forget. And you can also do a follow-up if you wanted to. And you can again categorize it. And I can hit save and close. So that task is added. When I right-click on it, I can choose to complete the task if I had finished it whenever so I can click complete and you can even add a task from here right away if you wanted to and I can even go back to new task and I can say sent email to somebody what is the start date it's Tuesday the end date is 27th priority is low and what I can do is I can assign this task 
to somebody else and I can type their email address okay. and I can cancel this and I can again set a recurrence if I wanted to repeat this task multiple times and I can hit close now if I come back to mail and I click on this test at Simple Tech I should be able to see my calendars coming up my tasks that have been finished and my inbox if I had any mails it will say one or two if I'm finished with this I can just put a check mark box on it and it cancels it out so that is task and you can keep on adding now even when you create a task say I wanted to put a task by milk for today or whatever and I can just make it private save and close okay. so that if it's like I'm working in a company I don't have to make this a public task so that is task which is right listed here it's easier to just go to it then you get this toolbar automatically even if you are in the mail you can click on new items and you can choose to do tasks contacts meetings or appointments straight from there the last thing in terms of uh, doing things with uh, Outlook is notes you can leave notes for yourself so I can click on new note and I can just type and I can close it and they'll be listed here and you can categorize it color it you can right click and you can categorize it you can give it a name and you can always double click on it you can change it you can delete it and you can always right click and delete it and you can view things in note list by seven days and there are other options that you can look at you can even forward the note to somebody else so the note is attached to it and you can forward it so if you had made some notes you can email it to yourself someone else as a reminder too so this pretty much covers all the important elements of Outlook from mail calendar contact task notes creating appointments inviting people creating rules for your emails and the last thing I want to tell you is about vacation response um, most of you are aware of it that if you're away you can set up an automatic response to people when they email you that you are away on vacation now in Outlook to do that you click on file now in my case I don't see it and you may not even see this if you are not working in a company where they have a setup with Microsoft Exchange server if you do have at work Outlook using Microsoft Exchange server under info right here you'll see an option called vacation response or out of office response where you'll be able to create one where you can just say I'm away from this time to this time and here's a message that everybody should get when they receive it and in there you might also see an option which will say okay when this messages come do you want to forward this messages to someone else so you can even set that setting so if you have to take a test and you get a question about vacation response click on file info and you should see a vacation response option right around here somewhere and for people if you were using like Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo you'll see that in the settings there is an option there where you can set up your automatic reply from there but if you wanted to use Microsoft Outlook 2010 to do the job for you we'll have to create a rule so I'll show it to you as to how to do that so I'm gonna to go to new email and here I'll type my message whatever the message is and what I have to do is I have to save this message as a template so I'll just save it somewhere auto reply and I have to use from the save as type I have to choose this as an outlook template auto reply and it's trying to save it in this template folder which is fine I'll click save and in the subject too I can type something and I can close it now I go to rules manage rules and alerts and I'm gonna click new rule 
Now I want to choose the rule that says apply rule on messages I receive because every message I receive I want to send this rule to. So I click next and do I want to set any conditions? I can do that if I wanted to after the message select the conditions. If you wanted to from with specific words you can do that. Click next. Well, I think I'll have to choose something here. So in this window I'll choose reply using a specific template because I've created that template and I can click next and a value in the rules was not set. I'm trying to I haven't used this in a while. So once you choose the reply using a specific template, I thought if I hit next it will ask me that, but you have to click here. Now from the standard templates I'm gonna choose user templates because I've created one and there is the auto reply. I'm going to double click on it so now it's set and I can click next and then do you want to put any exceptions you know if there was some people or something that you did not want it to be put exceptions to you can set and different types of exceptions here I can click next and run this rule now on messages already sitting there no I just want to turn this rule on for now from coming on so I click finish so this is sitting there Anytime any message comes in, I can hit apply and click OK. People will get that template that I created and they'll get a message. But for you to make it work, you need to make sure your computer is on and Outlook is running. But remember, for the exam point of view, you'll most probably get a question which will, for you, which you have to go to File, Info, and you'll see a setting here called Vacation Response or Auto Response. That's it. Hope this video provides you with all the details and the confidence to use Outlook at work and also be able to get good grades with your exam. Thank you for watching.